ever, arhati, deserves, abhitatum, address and feeling, voy, certainly, tvam, you, akincha nagocharam, one who is approached easily by the materially exhausted man. Translation, my lord, your lordship can easily be approached, but only by those who are materially exhausted. One who is on the path of material progress, trying to improve himself with respectable parentage, great opulence, high education, and bodily beauty, cannot approach you with sincere feeling. So, these are the disqualifications. Uh, material opulence, uh, these things, Janma, uh, to take birth in very aristocratic family or nation, uh, just like you American boys and girls, you are born of rich father, mother, nation. Uh, so this is, in one sense, it is God's grace. That is also to take birth in nice family or in nice nation, to become opulent, very rich, to become advanced in knowledge, education, all everything material. And beauty, these are the gifts of pious activities. Otherwise, why a poor man he does not attract anyone's attention, but a rich man attracts. Huh? <clears throat> Educated man attracts the attention. A fool rascal does not attract attention. So, similar in beauty, in opulence, these things are materially very beneficial. But <clears throat> when a person is materially opulent in this way, he becomes intoxicated. Oh, oh I am the rich man. I am educated man. Oh, I have got money. Oh, become intoxicated. Therefore, we advise, because they are already intoxicated by this position. And again intoxication. Then by nature, these people are already intoxicated. Intoxicated in this sense, just like if you drink wine, you become intoxicated. You are flying in the sky. You are thinking like that. You have gone to the heaven. Yes. So, uh, these are the effects of intoxication. <coughs> but the intoxicated person does not know that this intoxication, intoxication will be finished. It is within the time limit. It is not going to continue. That is called illusion. One is intoxication. I am very rich. I am very educated. I am very beautiful. I am very. I am born in high family, in high nation. That's all right. But this intoxication, how long it will exist? Suppose you are American. You are rich. You are beautiful. You are advanced in knowledge, and you you can be proud and become American. But how long this intoxication will exist? As soon as this body is finished, everything is finished. All, all intoxication. Just like same thing. You drink something, become intoxicated. But uh, as soon as that intoxication is over. All your intoxicated dreams are over, finished. 
So this intoxication, if you remain in intoxication, however, in the sky uh, and mental platform, these are mental platform, egoistic platform, uh, bodily platform, but you are not this body, not this gross body and the subtle body. This gross body is made of earth, water, air, fire, sky, and the subtle body is made of uh, mind, intelligence, and ego. Uh, <coughs> but uh, you do not belong to these eight elements, aparayam, in the Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> this is inferior energy of God. Even one is very mentally advanced, he does not know that he is under the influence of inferior energy. He does not know. That is intoxication. Just like intoxicated person does not know in what condition he is. So, this opulent position is intoxication. And if you increase your intoxication, the modern civilization is that we are already intoxicated and increase the intoxication. We have to become out of the intoxication situation. But the modern civilization is uh, increasing, that you become more intoxicated and more intoxicated and go to hell. This is the position of the modern civilization. Uh, so Kunti said that this intoxication position, madha, edhumana, madha, increasing, uh, puman, such person, Noivarhati. Uh, they cannot feelingly address Jaya Radha Madhava. Uh, they cannot feelingly. That's not possible. Uh, they are uh, uh, feeling, uh, spiritual feeling is lost. Uh, they cannot feelingly address because they do not know. Uh, uh, oh, this God is for poor man. They cannot have sufficient food. Let them go to the church and ask, Oh, God, give us our daily bread. Oh, we have got enough bread. Why shall I go to church? This is their opinion. And therefore, nowadays, in the days of economic development, nobody is interested in going to the church or temple. I know what this nonsense. Uh, why shall I go to the church? For asking bread, we shall develop economic condition and there will be sufficient supply of bread. Just like communist country, they do so. Uh, the communist country, they make propaganda in the villages. Uh, they ask the people to go to the church and ask for bread. The innocent people, they ask as usual, Oh God, give us our daily bread. Then when they come, uh, out of the church, these communist people ask, Have you got bread? They say, No, sir. All right, ask us. And then they ask, Oh, communist friend, give me bread. Uh, <laughs> and the communist friend has taken a truck load of bread. Take as much as bread. Take. So who is better? We are better or your God is better? They say, No, sir, you are better. Huh? Because they have no intelligence. They do not inquire that you rascal, where from you have brought this bread? <laughs> uh, have you manufactured in your factory? Can you manufacture grains, the ingredients of bread in your factory? Because they have no intelligence. Sudra. They are called sudra. Sudra means those who have no intelligence. They take it as it is. But one who is brahmana, <coughs> one who is advanced in intelligence, he'll inquire immediately, you rascal, where from you brought this bread? Uh, that is the question of the brahmana. Uh, you cannot manufacture bread. You are simply transformed. 
God's grain. The grain is the weight is given by God, and you have simply transformed uh, by transforming something from something that does not become your property. Uh, just like I give some carpenter, some wood, some implement, and salary, and he makes a very nice, beautiful a closet. To whom this closet will begin, belong? To the carpenter or to the man who has supplied the ingredients? To whom it will begin? The carpenter cannot say that because I have transformed this wood into such nice closet, it is mine. No, it is not your. No. Similarly, who is supplying the ingredient, rascal? No, that is Krishna. Krishna says, Bhumi rapana lo vayu khangmano vuddhira. Uh, prakriti me astadha. This is my property. You have not created this sea, the land, the sky, the fire, the air. It is not your creation. You can transform these material things, tejo barimit vinimayam, by mixing and transforming. You take uh, earth from the land, you take water from the sea and mix it and put it in the fire, it becomes a brick, and then you pile up all this brick and make a skyscraper building. But where from you got this ingredient, rascal, that you are claiming this skyscraper yours? This is intelligent question. You have stolen the property of God, and you are claiming that it is your property. This is knowledge. Ah, this is knowledge. So those who are intoxicated, they cannot understand. They think, it is my problem. I have stolen, uh, I have stolen this land of America from the Red Indians. Now it is my problem. But he does not know that he is a thief. He is a thief. Te no ava sahuchyate. The Bhagavad Gita, one who takes the property of God and claims his own, he is a thief. Uh, therefore, we have got communistic idea. We devote a Krishna conscious person. Uh, we have got Krishna conscious communistic program. Uh, what is that? That everything belongs to God. Just like they are thinking that everything belongs to the state. These communists, these Moscow, Moscovites, huh? or the Russian or the Chinese, huh? they are thinking state wise. Uh, but we are thinking not state wise, uh, we are thinking uh, God wise. Everything belongs to God. The same philosophy you extend, simply you require little intelligence. Uh, little intelligence. Why do you think that uh, this state belongs to a few uh, number of people? Uh, if you think that there are uh, population, American population, uh, this land of America belongs to the, this population. Why do you think like that? You think this is a property of God. So every living entity is a child of God. God is the Supreme Father. And Krishna says, Ahanga Bija I am the seed giving father of all living entities. Sarvajoni Shu In whichever form they may live. They are all living entities, they are my sons. Actually, that is the fact. We are living entities. We are sons of God. Uh, but we have forgot. Uh, therefore, we are fighting. Uh, just like in a nice family, uh, if anyone knows, father is supplying us food, so we brothers, why should we fight? Uh, similarly, if we become God conscious, if we become Krishna conscious, this fighting will be over. I am American, I am Indian, I am Russian, I am Chinese. These are nonsense things will over. 
Krishna consciousness movement is so nice. As soon as people become Krishna conscious, these fighting, these political fighting, uh, national fighting, will be over immediately. Uh, because they will come to real consciousness that everything belongs to God. And as the children, a child uh, of the family has got right to take advantages from the father, similarly, if everyone is part and parcel of God, if everyone is child of God, then everyone has got the right to uh, use the property of the father. Uh, so that right is not that, see, it right, the right belongs to the human being. According to Bhagavad Gita, this right belongs to all living entities, never mind whether it is living being or animal or trees or birds or beasts or insects. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, we do not think in terms of that simply my brother is good, I am good, and all bad. Uh, this kind of narrow, crippled consciousness we hate, we kick out. Uh, we think, uh, Pandita Samadharsina, in the Bhagavad Gita you will find, Vidya Vinay Sampanni Brahmani Gavi Hastini Sunichi Cha Sapake Cha. Pandita Samadharsina. One is Pandit, one is learned. He sees every living entity on the equal footing. Uh, therefore, a Vaishnava is so compassionate. Lokanang Hitakarino. They can actually do the beneficial work to the human being. They are saying, actually feeling that all these living entities, they are part and parcel of God. Somewhere or other, they have fallen in the contact of this material world, and according to different karma, they have assumed different types of body. So Pandita, those who are learned, they have no discrimination. That is, this is animal, they should be sent to the slaughterhouse, and this is man, he will eat it. No. Uh, actually, Krishna conscious person, he is kind to everyone. Why the animal should be slaughtered? Therefore our philosophy is no meat eating. No meat eating. You cannot. Uh, so they will not hear us. Ah, what this nonsense? This is our food. Why shall I not eat? Because Redomana Mada is intoxicated rascal. He will not hear the real fact. Just like in this state. Because a man is lying still, poor man, has no help. Can I kill him? Will the state excuse me? Though so I have killed one poor man, he had no necessity. There was no need for him in the society. So why should he leave? Huh? So will the state excuse me that you have done very nice work? Huh? No. That poor man is also the subject of the citizen of the state. You cannot kill him. Why not expand this philosophy? that the poor animal, or the trees, the birds, bees, they are also sons of God. You cannot kill. You will be responsible. You will be hanged. Just like by killing what poor man on the street, you will be hanged. Never mind. It is poor. Similarly, in God's eyes there is no such discrimination. What to speak of God? Even a learned man's vision, there is no such discrimination. This, this is poor, this is rich, this is... Black, this is white, this is... No. Everyone is living entity, part and parcel of God. Therefore, Vaishnava is the uh, only benefactor for all the living entities. Uh, they try to elevate. Uh, a Vaishnava tries to elevate all living entities to the platform of Krishna consciousness. Lokanang uh, hitokarino. That's like Rupa Goswami's. Lokanang hitokarino. 
त्रिभुवने मानो सरन्या करो ए वैष्णव हैज नो सच व्यू दैट दिस इज इंडिया एंड दिस इज अमेरिका एंड दिस इज और समबडी क्वेश्चन मी इन समवेयर दैट व्हाई यू हैव कम टू अमेरिका व्हाई नॉट आई शैल कम इट इज आई एम सर्वेंट ऑफ गॉड एंड दिस इज किंगडम ऑफ गॉड व्हाई शैल आई नॉट कम इट इज आर्टिफिशियल टू चेक मी इफ यू चेक मी देन यू कम इट्स सिंपल एक्टिविटीज just like government servant police has got right to enter any house any one's house that is not his pass similarly a god servant has got the right to go anywhere nobody can check if he checks then he will be punished ha uh, because everything belongs to god ha uh, so in this way we have to see things as they are that is krishna consciousness Krishna consciousness is not a crippled idea. Uh, therefore, Kunti says, "Janvain shadja suta sivi idhumana madapuman." Those were increasing intoxication. Such person cannot become Krishna conscious. Such person cannot become Krishna conscious. Idhumana madap because they are intoxicated. Uh, just like a intoxicated person, he is uh, fully intoxicated. And talking nonsense. If somebody says, "My dear brother, you are talking nonsense. Here is father. Here is mother. Who cares for it?" Uh, he is intoxicated. Uh, similarly, all these rascals, intoxicated rascals. If you say, "Here is God," they cannot understand because intoxicated. The Prabhu Kunti says. Uh, ताम अकिंचन गोचर सो इट इज ए गुड क्वालिफिकेशन वैन वन बिकम्स फ्री फ्रॉम दिस इंटॉक्सिकेन्स जन्म ईश्वर्य सुधी गुड बार्थ गुड अपलेंस गुड एजुकेशन गुड ब्यूटी दे कैन बी यूज वैन द सेम पर्सन बिकम कृष्ण कॉन्सियस Just like you, American boys and girls are doing, uh, you are intoxicated. But when the intoxication is over, you are doing better service, Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, just like when you go to India, they are surprised how these American boys and girls have become so mad after God, uh, uh, because that that teaches them that is. That you rascal, you learn because you imitate from the Western countries. Now see here, the Western country boys and girls are dancing in Krishna consciousness. Now you imitate. Uh, uh, that was my policy. So it is being practiced now. <laughs> yeah. So everything can be utilized. Uh, good parentage. If you utilize, if you remain intoxicated, do not utilize it. Then it is not very good, as said. But you can utilize it for good purpose. Uh, if you accept, if you utilize the asset uh, for Krishna's purpose, it will be better position. Uh, the same example, just like zero, zero has no value. But as soon as you put one before zero, it becomes ten. Immediately, immediately ten. Uh, another zero, hundred. Another zero, thousand. Uh, similarly, this John Moy Sir Joshua Sri. So long you remain intoxicated with it is all zero. But as soon as you put Krishna, it becomes ten, hundred, thousand, million. That is the opportunity. So you have got this opportunity. You American boys and girls, you have got this opportunity. You have got zero. Put Krishna, you become ten. Yeah. Thank you. Very much.
Thank <laughs> you.